what's going on guys that two for five back here with another video and today we're going to talk about why i think nfts will actually be good for gaming so today we're going to talk about a very hot topic which is nfts and decentralization and video games so i reported a couple of weeks ago that square enix stated that they wanted to decentralize some of their ips from tomb raider to final fantasy to dragon quest i mean they have a lot to work with but i've seen a lot of fuss in gaming about these decisions i mean just look at sega they were going to put uh, nfts to their games and got bullied by the internet out of it but my question is, why? So we've had a handful of video games who've already been decentralized and added NFTs and crypto to gaming. And I've covered a couple in my five crypto games to make you millions and how I turn $100 to $10,000 and the truth about NFT gaming, where I go over how you can earn real life money by buying and selling NFTs and in-game assets or by playing games to earn crypto. Now on one side of the argument, I can see why people don't want NFTs in games because look at these big AAA gaming companies like EA who literally make their whole games microtransactions and play to win. Even 2K is guilty of this with their VC and card packs and their popular game mode, my team, which by the way, doesn't transfer from game to game, I might add. But what if they did? What if those cars in my team were NFTs and you can transfer them from your NFT wallet into the new game? I offer up a solution to the naysayers and tell me if I'm wrong for thinking this, but what if we could take some of that money back from these AAA gaming companies? For instance, the Call of Duty franchise and Fortnite franchise have a hundred skins for your characters, guns, and all types of cosmetics you can use to customize your characters. But once you buy them, then what? You don't really own them because they're just in-game digital items. You can't transfer them, sell them, or do anything with them. You literally ha just have them sitting in your in-game inventory until you want to use them again. And if you don't, it'll just be sitting there. But what if they were NFTs and you had a digital wallet attached to them and you could just sell them when you're done with them? I've seen people spend hundreds of dollars on in-game skins not to even use them anymore when the new one comes out, but what if you could sell your old skins when you're done with them? Not only could you make the money back, but you could also sell your old skins to have money for new skins. Because let's be real, Epic, EA, 2K, and all these other big gaming developers made billions of dollars off market transactions a year, selling you virtual items you don't even own or can't do anything with after you purchase them. So here are my pros to decentralizing these video games. For one, you can get time-exclusive content from a marketplace. Granted, it'll most likely be marked up in price, but it'll still be available to you. Two, you actually will own the digital content and be able to buy and sell whatever you want. And three, instead of feeding money to these money hungry gaming developers, you could put that money back into the community that keeps these games afloat. I'm just saying, if I buy a game for GameStop, I can sell that game to my grandpa, my grandma, my friend, whoever. But if I buy an in-game item and decide two months from now, I don't want that anymore. I am stuck with it. Now am I saying these companies won't find a way to get more money out of this if they add NFTs to these games? Of course not. But with enough pressure from the gaming community, if done right, decentralizing some of these popular games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, and all these other Battle Royale games could be good for gamers. Or y'all could just keep spending your money on in-game items that won't be worth a penny when these games eventually shut down their servers and then you'll lose everything with nothing to show for it. I say all this to say I hate microtransactions. I refuse to pay $60 for a game, then pay more for stuff that should already be in the game. No matter how rich I am, how much money I make, microtransactions are trash. And these gaming companies will not fix the issue with microtransactions until you start putting that power back into gamers' hands. So with all that being said, are you guys for NFT and gaming? Or do you think NFTs should just stay with NFTs and gaming should be separate? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe because I do videos like this all the time. Make sure to check out my playlist for other crypto and NFT videos. See you guys in the next video. Peace.